I think we should save it because it is, was an asset to Springfield, I believe that. We would have dinners on Sundays and the, the members would each bring a covered dish. Sometimes we'd have it in the yard, sometimes we'd have it in the dining room. And everyone just worked together and seemed like enjoyed each other. And we would raise the windows and we would be singing and beating our tambourines. And people would leave the park and come up here. Sometimes this street would be full. And sometimes they would sit on the banister there and listen to the music and the preaching. And this to me is my home, like I said. And I, when I heard that it was going to be destroyed, it really broke my heart because like I said, it's a home, it's home to me and to my family. So I think, I think it was an asset, you know, to the neighborhood and to the city of Springfield. A lot of spiritual growth, mm -hmm, growth and uh, it helped us to live better lives because of the teaching that we got. It's something that we need to remember what history was about, is all about. Uh, because it's, and really, I think, I don't think that there's another building in Springfield with this kind of uh, work, the, the stones and, and all of that. And it's been here since 1932. So, uh, I think it's deserving of uh, being a historical site, yes. Because I think, it, I think it deserves to be saved. We have a, what we call, um, park day. <laughs> and there are, are lots of people, a lot of the children that went to Lincoln have left and they come back. And they come back to see their families and the friends that they left here. And I believe that this would add to the good times down there because people could go in and see how beautiful it is. And I believe that um, they, would, they, they would be glad that we saved it, <laughs> which I am hoping and praying, and I believe that the Lord will let us save this building. Here we are in front of Timmins Temple at 934 East Webster here in Springfield, Missouri. In a few days, this building could be a pile of rubble. All of its collective memories, architectural, historical, and cultural significance will be lost. Built by Reverend C. Timmons in 1932, during the Depression and segregation, Timmons dug native stone from nearby Jordan Creek and hauled it to this site by mule-drawn wagon. According to a 2005 city survey, quote, this African-American church is one of the best examples of Ozark stone buildings in Springfield. Truly the work of a master, there are ornate designs of sunburst and even sunrises. One can see that each of these stones were placed lovingly in a specific pattern. The structure could bring a year-round facility for the entire community to enjoy. The park staff suggests setting the building here next to the Jordan Creek Greenway Trail and this existing parking lot in beautiful historic Silver Springs Park. We must reach our goal by June the 5th. Please help save Timmons Temple. And we don't want it to our down. We want to let it be as it is now and let, people in, let other people enjoy what we have enjoyed. So no, I don't think it should be torn down. I think it should be saved. And I am hoping and praying that there are other people that feel the same way to save this beautiful building.